Dámy a pánové, já vás vítám u videa z herní série Mass Effect. Doufám, že si videj koužete, počilujete a enjoy. Medailon. Beryllium, super. Je tam je vedle planety ještě měsíc. Takže ten měsíc. Jo. Anomálie, trosky. Takže první zábava, pak práce. Co tu máme za anomálii? Budou tam psí známky, nějaký Luťando, Čína, Cetka. Oh. A serijská schránka. Udíš, haraburdí zápisky. Budíš sonda. Fúzní výbušnina, takže toto nechci. Ale fúzní výbušninu si vezmu. To by se mohlo hodit, ne? Výbušnina 6 na fúzní. Aha. Toxicita. A výbušnina jako taková je tady jenom. S známou látkou. A tak. Dám tam toto teda. Výbuch 970 pade, sice to nepoužívám, ale... Či tam budu mít vyšší než čtverkovou. Hmm. 
A kdyby to náhodou bylo potřeba mrsknout na něco, tak ať se to vypaří rychleji. Ano, je tu bez tak nějaká pěkná cesta k tomu a, a to se beru tím nejhorším terénem. Stoma. Čekaj, tohle všechno si skenere. Tým. Statnost. Si odhození. Brokovnice. Já s ní chodím ze brokovnici a ona tu brokovnici tam vůbec nemá v poškození. Aj. No, tak to je hezky. Ne, pistoli tam má. A jo, fakt tam má brkovnici, takže pistole. To sice má silnou... Jestli ta brkovnici nedostávala taky klepec.
Tata, tam mu to prlupnout. Kvarian. Aha. Tak nahoře něco může být. To nový náboj, zápalný náboj. Množství zašifrovaných dětských datových souborů. Nice. Tak, pistole, šup. Z toho to nic. Xander, zdravíčko. D2 dneska asi ne. Nejspíš zítra. Nejspíš zítra by měla být D2. Dneska mám v plánu ideálně pokud možno dohrát Mass Effect 1. Tam to nějak extra moc nezbývá. Ukazuje to v port. Křičník, ale... Tady jak je to ve, promluvte si stali, no. Gecké výpady dokončeno. Tak to je zase bugnutý. Tak šup. Zasedání rady? Nic. Kde, kde je ten průchod? Tu je. A jak jdem si pro ten šťavnatý rozhovor. Takže rychle sejvnem. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Čisto čtyři tisíc. Sedmička spektra vybavení. Oh. Dobře. Ale furt je to i jenom sedmičkový. A ah, pistole je slabá. Tak 
We need to spread that. Tady ty malé čtverky, ideálně, jestli tu budou někde pitky. Jsou to ještě čtverky. Vyhazováno. Něco málo. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes. The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet. Those files have information that could be vital to our effort to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. Do you think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead, make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Kecá, chtěl víc. Ale víc asi v prvním díle nepůjde, no. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to find... Přesně tak, pulzy. I guess my father had something to do with it too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Go. Zí do postele tak možná by sundala tu masku a bylo by vidět jak vypadá. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. My father's a CSEC man. Což samozřejmě vyskoušíme. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Ah, gonna be resolved. We shall have Liara to postale. Ono je otázka, jestli v tom prvním díle, ve druhém tady může, ale jestli v prvním. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Tak kdo ví? Such as? 
such as I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get it. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Taun Actus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander... I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. Mm, no. No, we will let you check. Argos Row. Tu už máme prosničovanou komplet. No, nic méně teda dá se proletět ještě repete. Lehké kovitelé, už se to blíží ke konci. 
Známky plné, medailonky. To by šlo. Ešli jedna z možností. Kromě liér, teda. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and the list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of them. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. You gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing, good-natured or otherwise. Ah, no fun, Skipper. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Takže další rozhovory. Pain. Ale by bylo. Co nás čeká? No, dvě hvězdokupy, vrxový zbroj. Vyspovídat posádku. To už prakticky je. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. I mean, there are reports to file on the Rachni and on Analeus. Paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. 
that a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. It seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened in the furnace. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Burnus. Before I met Burnus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand. It was Vernus who made me see how human the aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the night came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot chain was shut down. The natives folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Ah, последний разговор. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Hmm. I should go. Takže tady možnost není žádná dobře. Takže všichni měli ona, ne? Zajímavé. Dámy a pánové, doufám, že se vám video líbilo, tady to aktuálně pro dnešek zapíchnu, nezapomeňte hodnotit, komentovat, dát odběr a naviděnou u dalšího videa.